Hey everybody, it's Glider Cat, and it is time to play. We are back in Evo Space, and we're just on the tail end of completing our kind of rudimentary production line of circuits. Now, I don't know how well it's going to scale. I don't know how, you know, how much output we're going to get out of this, but it is going to allow us to start researching the next level of the tech tree. And we'll just see if it's not enough, we can, uh, we can definitely scale it up. Let's go and start by setting it to morning time. So we have a little bit of daylight to work with. And when we left off, we were just on the verge of extending this platform so we could, uh, place our, another computer, which we have to build. We haven't built that yet. And hoping we can use the existing power and just extend that power cable to power their computer rather than setting up another furnace and all that stuff that we've been doing over and over again. And we don't have to bother with uh, routing the coal or the Coke. So I want to make this just a little bit bigger, I'm probably doing more drilling than I need to. All right, let's place this down these blocks, extend this out. So we get a little bit of room to work with. Last episode, we tried out the ladder. That was kind of fun. So we, <laughs> fun for me. I think it's pretty funny. I like it. All right. Let's build the computer. Where is that guy? Uh, da, 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 da. Where is the computer? There it is. Boom. I think that's it. I think we just need to feed this stuff into the computer. Well, that's building. Let's get our inserters down. I swear I built more inserters. It seems like we don't have that many. seems like we should have more. All right. Uh, how about to a belt and then to the computer? And then how am I going to get this power line? I'm going to have to come up. We also, I forgot to uh, connect this power line up. Let's do it before I forget again. Select the power cable. I think it's just going to be a click or two or boom. That's that. That is that. Now this is going to be a little ugly. I wonder if I should go underground and then come back up. Matter of fact, I can plug right into the computer, right? I can take right from the assembler into the computer. Why don't we do that? And then power. Let's do power like this. And then I want to route that cable underneath because that's just what I like to do. So we don't have to look at it. I think it would look hokey coming over here over the top like a pipe. So let's drill down like I like to do. I'm not crazy about the drilling part. I do like the end result and what I'm thinking of doing, I guess is right here. Let's see if this is going to work. We'll put a little section of cable right here. Boom. I think it looks like it's going to work. Let's go drill out some more of this. Yeah. I think that's going to work. Uh, we'll just find out. There's our spot. We don't, we're not going to build out the whole floor down here, but, um, boy, I wish I would have put the cable here. Let's uh, do it. If it will, if it'll work, I'm not sure if it will. Yeah, that looks okay. Can we get this one placed? Kind of have to actually be on it. There we go. Boom, boom. Nope. Not what I wanted. I don't know. Is that a little cable nugget down there? <laughs> I can't tell. There it is. Now it's there. All right. Bear with me. Sorry, I'm scrolling around like a maniac. Let me slow down for a half a second here. We'll get out of that. And we will grab our cable. Now we can do this way we intend to boom 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 now hopefully that's all hooked up let's uh 
see if we can get over there and see if this guy is doing anything. It's definitely not going to do anything to really set a recipe. So let's right click. And now we're going to pick the advanced computations. And we've got the other computer doing the basics. So if we pick a research now, ooh, look at it, it's getting power. It's actually, it, it, it actually keeps a little inventory of the advanced research. That's my guess. Ooh, power is insufficient. We may need to shore up the power. Anyway, let's pick up a re let's pick a research. And I want the mining drill. Where is that? The enhanced mining. Uh, I thought we saw something. So I'm going to actually take a minute and look for that because that well, there it is, multi-tool. Let's pick that guy. It's a thousand. Look at that thousand basic, but that's I'm willing to do it cuz it is so tedious. And I'm hoping that speeds things up. Okay, let's take a look at this guy. Uh, we'll right click and just see. Power is flickering. And I see two levels of progress bar. Now I'm not sure what that's showing. That may be saying that how fast it should have gone is that red line or something. And how fast it is currently going is the blue line. That's my guess which is pretty cool, actually. Let's go down and shore up the power. Just parachute down here. How can we do that? We might be able to connect. Yeah, how can we do that easily? I guess is the better question. Got no power, no problem getting more ore. How best to do this? Feels like. Kind of feels like this line should be right along here. I'll show you what I'm thinking. If we had the ore traveling along in this direction, Then I could feed it into a series of furnaces, right? So I'll show you what I mean. Let's go ahead and bring this guy around. Boom. We're going to follow kind of the same thing. Hopefully one, one inserter is enough. We'll have to, we'll have to find out. Anyway, let me finish what, we're, what I'm trying to show you. So belt goes this way. Inserter goes this way, right? Then we don't need either of these. This comes off and this comes off and this comes off. And then we set up another, you know, another combination just like this, hopefully being able to connect to this same wire or cable. Let's craft some more of that cable. We seem to be using a lot of it at the moment, and I'd like to have some on hand. I'll do 15 more of those. I'll select it. And what I'm I'll show you what I'm thinking is right here, right? Maybe not. We'll leave a space just for looks. So there. And then we'll just mimic the same structure. The blocks down here. They're not the highest priority, but it'll keep me from falling down. I also want to move this furnace. Uh, that's not horrible. Well, yeah, I'm going to move the furnace just because I'm thinking about it. Beep, boom. I don't want the flame. I want it to feed into the open area. That's all that was about. Oh, is it? Yeah, that's fine. The Sterling engine's fine. Let's do our, we got to craft our furnace. Here. Where are you, little furnace? You and a Sterling engine. And this guy, which we are short of. Copper. We used it all up. Let's go run and get copper. 
get a bunch. We get a bunch because of our earlier work. We can easily grab copper. In fact, this one's probably full. It's getting there. Come back down. And we need the engine or the generator. Let's go ahead and pick that. Hopefully we get enough now. Yeah. And we could thir make 32 of them. We don't need 32. What else do we want to craft? How are we doing on inserters? Boy, we sure go through those. I'm going to craft another robot arm. Another 20 of those and get that queued up. Heat pipes. How are we doing? 30. Let's grab another 10. All right, just want to do that while I'm thinking about it so we don't come up short later. Boom. And Sterling engine. This time we're going to go like that. And then the generator, if it gets built, I'm going to wait for that. It's got a lot of components to it. Oh, no, we don't have to wait on it. It's here. I just didn't see it. Sorry about that. Let's pop that up. And that should do us. And an inserter, last one. Got a little bit of extra belt there. That's not a big deal. Okay, that's fired up. So then if we needed more, we can... We can scale that pretty darn easy. And it's nice underground. Let's use our fancy ladder. This is pretty sweet. Now let's take a look at the computer and see if we're getting a little bit faster production out of it. Okay, now it's waiting on... The, oh, what's it waiting on? Circuits? What's going on here, fellas? This guy is not producing... He's waiting on the copper wire. Yeah, that's slow, huh? It's slow. I think it's slow because the inserter. Well, oh man, it's ugly. We could do something kind of ugly. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna. Let's uh, make it morning time. Let's increase the throughput. We have these materials. We might as well use them. Eventually, we're going to be able to upgrade, but we just can't do it now. Not yet. But yeah, we need... That's why I was a little nervous of whether this is going to scale well or not. Because I don't... It's not really set up to scale very good. suppose we could run these lines out in that direction somehow. But yeah, this production's kind of slow. Very, very slow. Which makes me surprised we were running out of power because these guys are just sitting most of the time, it looks like. Well, just kind of keeping an eye on this. It looks like they're, um, you know, we got two, two robotic arms unloading and they're going pretty consistently with the technology that we've got now. You know, we don't have faster robotic arms. That may be as good as we could get it. I mean, we could, we could set up an array of these things. So we've got more of them trying, more of them moving slow, you know, more um, assembly machines doing this work. But it's just kind of slow. They're going as fast as they can, though. All right. Well, I think that is uh, how it's going to have to be, unfortunately. 
It's just a little slower than I thought. We may... Let's see. Yeah, this is... Uh, boy, we were burning through research so fast before. This is a little underwhelming. We may need to scale this up. We've got a lot of research that requires uh, circuits. So we basically want to be just loading circuits constantly. So we're going to have to rework this. I think what we're going to do... I think what we're going to have to do... Is maybe send these two lines... Boy, how are we going to do that? Send our copper ingots... Oh, no, no, no. We need more. How are we? Yeah, how are we going to do this? I'm trying to think here. Wire. I mean, I could have a belt of wire and I could have. Oh, I just don't know how I'm going to make this work. I'm going to think about it. I'm thinking of expanding out in this direction, basically. Like, if we expand the platform out here this way, right? Boom. If we can, you know, cover a path coming out this way. Because so we've got all the space we need, I think, unless we're going to cover up that coal mine. Let's see in the map. Yeah, we're, we're getting close to the coal, but I think we're a little bit out of the way have to see we're, <laughs> we're probably heading right to the call is this like right where the call is map it is it's not the end of the world um shoot Let's see if we can get back up here but i think we could go out in this direction we've got room out this way And what we want is a steady stream of circuits just coming into our computer, just like nonstop. At least one loader, and be better if we even had two doing it. Loading that guy up. But we're going to need definitely more wire production, or we need more pairs like this. If we consider these two machines like a single machine... And I could run a belt. I could run these circuit boards up that way. They're clearly backed up. We've got more capacity, a bunch of unused capacity here, because this is just totally backed up waiting. I don't know if I can increase how many circuits get in. I mean, how much wire gets in here very easily. Wire, so and then I could run this Hopper up that way. I'm just thinking, where would I put the belt of completed circuits, you know? Not sure how I would get that, where I would get that. I guess it wouldn't be down the middle. Hmm. Yeah, I need a clear path to route those, and I want to go up above. This guy's going to be spitting out circuits, and if I do these in series, in a row, I'm just not sure how I can make that happen. Hmm, and I don't have any... I don't think these robotic arms will reach over two lanes. I think level twos might. Once we get some upgrades, we might be able to do that. But right now, we're stuck having to have each input be right next to the machine. How can we do it? How can we do it? Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm going to have to give it some thought. I'm not sure. Boy, we have to tear up a lot of stuff, too. Bummer. All right. Well, we'll figure it out. Let's, uh... Let's 
Let's see. What can we do first? I can get more wire. It's just the throughput is slow. The other thing I could... No, I got that dang thing in the way. Let's get that little floater out of there. I could branch out here and have more wire, but then I've got no way... Well, I don't really have a good way to route that wire back into this machine. If we were to do another wire production kind of over here in parallel to that one and feed it back into the same assembler. Because I think that's what it's waiting on. I think it's the wire that's the holdup. Let's see, does this show the recipe? Yeah, it's six wire for every circuit board. So it's three cycles of these guys loading. Now what's going on? Is it working? It's got the six wire. Now what's going on here? It looks like something is held up. What are you waiting on? We might be actually waiting on the other machine now. <laughs> it's possible that we're waiting on the research from the other machine. Uh, let's take a look at the research. Basic computations. Look at that. So the fact that this one is slow is actually not the big problem. Right now, we're actually waiting on our other one way over at the main area. So let's leave this as is for now. Sorry for all that pondering. Let's, uh, let's head over here and see if this one's got enough fuel because this one we have to kind of manually fuel. And we've been chewing through... Uh, a lot of research. So it's possible this guy has run dry. Let me grab some, some of that. And let's look, I bet this is, no, that guy's doing good. Okay. So that's our Coke production. That's fine. This is the one. No, he's got plenty. So what is the holdup fellas? And he's working away. Working away, it's just, uh, yeah, it's just a, ooh, insufficient power for a, nah, that can't be. Oh, just barely inefficient. Huh. Well, hmm. It's producing okay. We're missing a little bit. And that could be some power loss just from the heat pipe itself. We could easily set up another one. Boy, I hate to do more temporary stuff, though. It might be time to route this Coke over this way and pop another furnace here. Right, where would that be? Would that it would be right here. We could do it. Let's do this. Uh, let's do it. We need to build more bricks. Boy, our inventory is full of garbage too. Let's do a couple things. Let's grab this and was it G? Let's get rid of this organic material. We've got clay. I'm going to get rid of the clay, actually. We've got some of this impure gravel. Let's get rid of that. Dirt we'll key hold on to. These two little nuggets of copper I'm just going to throw away. That's that. Now let's grab some rock or some stone. This should be totally full. It is consuming some of the power. That's probably, that could be part of our issue. And we need to make... Let's make some bricks.
Meantime, we can run belts, which we do have constructed. And we want these this direction. And what we're going to do is set up another, uh, another furnace. But we're going to feed it automatically and have this thing be a little more self-sufficient so we don't have to uh, hand feed the coke anymore. And that, that wasn't the big problem. The big problem is just kind of insufficient power over here. To a small, to a little degree, we've got insufficient power. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and run an inserter here. So we'll have a little bit of a cache of coke. That's not a big deal. And now it's all about the belts. Somehow I'm losing belts because I thought I just built a ton of these guys. And now I'm out of belts. Got the copper. So let's make some of those. 20 belts, 25, 30 belts. And basically we're going to drop a furnace. So let's make a furnace, hopefully a copper one. Yep. And once that's done crafting, we'll pop another furnace here. We, let's see this guy. Hmm. We're going to need, this is going to have to go. We do have inserters. Those have been built. One's going to go there and one's going to go right here. And then our heat pipe. I kind of already tell you where that's going. Just like that. And let's place our furnace. Where is it? It's still being crafted. We got our belts. Let's put those down at least. Just in one little section. Okay, this will maximize the power. We should, this should give us plenty of power. Now, is this guy done? Okay, the research completed. Let's pick another one. Oh, we got faster mining now too. Awesome. Let's do the electric stuff and see if we can't move down that, down that path towards electricity. I think that's going to help. I don't know that we need, do we need this distributed computing too? That gets us a faster computer. I suppose that wouldn't hurt, but let's do the electric stuff first. Start the research. And let's see, did we get our furnace yet? Where is it? I thought I built a furnace. Maybe I didn't click it hard enough. Kaboom. There it is. It was still being constructed. That's all right. We'll use another one. Boom. All right. That's going to take care of the inefficient power that we saw, or insufficient power, I should say. Should, once it fires up, that should be plenty, unless it's just pure heat pipe latency that we can't uh, overcome. Can't tell if that's the better or the same, tell you the truth. It says excess, so it could be these heat pipes just are not efficient. Now we could. Hmm. We could set it up right next to this one where the power is. There's no reason the computer has to be over here. I think that's good enough. I think we're going to leave it. Um, yeah. Let's call that an episode a little bit short, but we did finally manage to get the circuits produced and we did research our first item in the tech tree that required the, uh, the circuits and that advanced computations. So that's cool. So that's opened up a whole bunch of things for us to research. It may be a little slower. Uh, next episode, I think we want to, We'll keep an eye on this. If it's really slow, uh, we'll deal with it. But you can see that the ratio between the basic computations and the advanced is, is pretty steep. It's almost 10 to 1 for a lot of these. 
Like this one's even greater than 10 to 1. So it might be we need to throw down another computer for our basic research, or I should say and or, it could be that once we research this distributed computing, we can replace our existing computers, and uh, maybe these ones will be a little faster. They'll probably take some steel though, so we're gonna have to uh, we're gonna have to start moving on steel production. And I think that makes sense for us to do next. Is we'll chase down these recipes, go find an iron ore mine, and start doing that, and then researching the advanced computer and researching more of the electricity. So we're not having to route this, um, this Coke all over the place. We can just route the power cables and maybe even do them underground. So you don't have to see them. Now I'm hoping those have less latency than these heat pipes, but we'll just see, like, I have a feeling we just doubled the power over here and this guy is still a little short on power. So it's better than it was, but we'll see. Anyway, that's it for now. This is Glider Cat signing off saying thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.